beautiful firefly, my beautiful woman who is wanting to go out there and light up the world through her business. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. It's Saturday. Woohoo! It's the weekend. It's the weekend. It's Saturday, the 16th of January 2021. And I've used a couple of different decks this last couple of days, but I'm back to my old favourite. Back to the spirit song. Because I love it. I can shuffle this one. The guy in tarot, not so much. <laughs> I really did find that bulking. So I hope you're doing all right today. I hope things are going well for you. Maybe you've managed a, a lie-in or something equally lovely. What have I for you today? What messages does Spirit have for you today? Ooh. Ooh. Like I pointed out yesterday, um, in 2020 I did not want to do reversals. So I read everything in the upright. Because... I felt like I didn't want to be negative in any sort of way. And then I kind of decided, you know what, I'm going to read these messages as they come. And that's not because I want to be negative, and it's not because the messages are negative. They're generally quite empowering. But it's just a case of, I think we should be real. <laughs> I want to be real with you. So I'm going to be real. So we've got the two of feathers. We've got the ace of feathers in reverse. And we have the king of crystals. So we've got a gecko. Now I believe you are a goat. Mental clarity and foundation. Right, okay. And then courage and commitment with the king of crystals. So we've got the two of feathers. We're looking at intellect, thought, decisions, directions that you want to be going in. This is about balance, possibly partnership, making some decisions with a partner, maybe going in the direction of getting a partner. Hmm, okay. We got the Ace of Feathers in reverse. So we've got the Two of Feathers, which is about going in the right direction facing your fears choosing yourself and being decisive actually being very decisive making some good choices making some courageous choices about what direction you're going to take but then we hit a problem because the ace of feathers reversed it's mental clarity and foundation which means you are perhaps clouded perhaps you've got some confusion going on perhaps you've got a delay in some of the plans that you're trying to make so you need to clear the path towards the direction that you need to go in and the answer may be to figure out what really matters to get to the bottom of why this confusion has occurred because it seems to me that you know what you want you know what direction you want to go in you don't have a problem with that um, but your mind is unclear so actually what uh, the advice I'm going to give you here is don't make the decision yet don't make the decision yet. I'm going to ask for some clarification on these. Um, the King of Crystals, the Tiger, he's talking about prosperity. Everything Tiger, t everything Tiger, everything Tiger touches turns to gold. He's courageous and methodical in his approach to meet a goal and leaps upon a solution when challenged with a problem. Tiger is a natural leader and supports others in their goals while consistently working towards meeting his own. He's satisfied with his life and enjoys his peaceful place of retreat whenever he needs to unwind. Tiger is your guide in making a commitment to a long-term goal. 
and reminds you that you can re reap rewards just as he has done. Take pride in your achievements and be on the lookout for great opportunities. The keywords for this card are success, courage, reliability, commitment, manifestation, ambition, protection, determination, security, luxury and reward. But before we get there, we've got these. This is you wanting to make a decision, wanting to go the right direction so you can get here. But unfortunately right now, that's not going to work out for you because you, you aren't feeling particularly clear about where you're going and what you want. And until you are, this is going to elude you, I think. And the problem is, if you make this decision whilst your thoughts are cloudy, then it's going to be more difficult to get to there. You need to be clear. You need to be 100% clear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clarify. With the Gaian Tarot, which, as I explained yesterday, is new to me, but I just want to... Can you clarify the two feathers for me? That's weird. Spirit, can you clarify the Ace of Feathers for me, please? Can you clarify the Ace of Feathers for me, please? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, spirit animals, can you please clarify the Ace of Feathers for my... Fireflies, please. Right, okay. This card came out yesterday. All about conflict and tension and maybe being a little bit um, burning people as a cover-up for feelings of fear. Um, it's also about making decisions that could be about burning down things rather than actually creating things it could be about just being you know sort of self-sabotaging or um looking to completely just burn everything down that you've already started so the five of earth this is material and physical things this is also a little bit about some conflict going on. I'm going to get the book out on this one. The Five of Earth. The Five of Earth. You are dealing with stress on a survival level, most likely with your health or finances. You may have lost your home or your job or are dealing with a life-threatening illness. Things may seem bleak indeed. What kind of shelter in the storm can you create that will help you through these rough times? What survival skills have you developed that you can use in times of crisis? Whoa. That got deep really fast, didn't it? Very fast. Is that what's going on here? Is Just give me a minute because... Because there's a message coming through. And this is saying that the reason for your confusion, for this ace of feathers, for this, you know, you, you know what you want. You know what you want. You know what direction you want to go in. You know what you want. You know the direction that you want to go in, but there's this feeling of confusion, of conflict, of anger, a fiery emotional response, because you think that you can't have this. You think... The reason that you're confused, that you're not able to actually make the decisions is because something big has happened. Something big has happened that's shaken your confidence, 
um, something big has happened that you feel like you can't come back from. But actually, although this card is, is representative of something big happening, there's a hiker in the woods, he's lost, he's burying himself in a nest. Why is he doing that? Because he's got the survival skills to know what to do to survive. And I'm being overwhelmingly um, guided now to tell you that whatever... Whatever this big thing is that has happened, you do have the skills to get past it. You might not feel like you do. You might not feel like you've got the wherewithal right now to make any sorts of decisions at all. Even though deep down in your heart you know what direction you want to go in, you know what you want. But it feels like you're walking through treacle just now. That you can't possibly move forward because of these gigantic things that are happening so you know i don't know it could be that you really want to start a new business but you feel like you've got to have money to do it and you've just lost your job or you just don't earn anywhere near enough to be able to do it but you've got to look at where your skill sets lie and yes there may be huge things in the way of you doing stuff now. The big things that is that is your th this direction, this 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 dream that you've got is big, and it feels like all this is stopping you moving forward you're confused, you you can't make the right decision, or you don't feel like you've got the wherewithal to make a decision on what you need to be doing, you're probably quite angry, rightfully so, especially if, if this stuff is out of your control and you had a plan and it's all just gone to glory because of outside circumstances, something, something big has happened that is preventing you, but I want you to know, and Spirit wants you to know, no matter what this is, this is still waiting for you. Start by doing whatever it is that you need to do to survive on a daily basis. You've got the skills. You don't need to be worrying about the big things right now. You worry about how you get through on a daily basis. And the decisions that you need to make, you just need to think... Is this taking me closer to this decision that's going to get me here to prosperity and abundance and success? Or is it going to take me further away? Am I stepping forward or am I moving back? And you know what? I'm going to say something now because I just got a message through that was saying it doesn't even matter if you have to stand still for a little while because you need a breathing space to clear your mind before you can move forwards and we all need that don't we sometimes sometimes things move so fast and we we feel like we've got to make that decision now 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 and um we can't you know we struggle and we stumble sometimes we just need to take a moment to think about what the right decisions might be but you do have the power inside of you to make the right decisions. That is coming through here, absolutely. You will end up here if you take a step and take a breath and use the skills that you have. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. To get here takes courage and commitment. Yeah? Nobody built anything amazing overnight from nothing without you know putting a huge dose of courage and commitment into things whatever your direction is whatever this dream is whatever your business is whatever your project is you're going to need courage and commitment to get there and you know you're not alone we all have obstacles in our way things happen to us all the time that stop us moving forward um they can be big things they can be smaller things they can be small things that seem like big things 
but we all encounter these obstacles and the difference between the ones that get to here and the ones that give up and combust is the courage and the commitment you're going to need to dig deep and find that courage and commitment but like i said don't worry about moving forward too fast um, it's okay to take a breath that's what i'm being told it's okay to take a breath so that you can make the right decisions i'm going to just draw that's quite a deep reading this one for a three card daily reading honestly sometimes i'm going to get you an animal spirit animal card just to close this i just want to absolutely let you know that that king of crystals is available to you you just have to keep moving forward never ever ever give up just keep moving forward if you would like any help with any of this if you've listened to this reading and you're thinking do you know what I really could do a talking to somebody about this this reading sounds like it's exactly for me it's resonated with me completely and I need some help please do email me and we can talk about this I am a therapist <laughs> if you do need a session please do let me know Guardian Angels, Spirit Guides, please give me a Spirit Animal card to guide my beautiful Firefly ladies. On this day, what have we got? We've got a whole bunch there, I don't want a whole bunch. Getting excited up there. Oh, there we go, there's one. Hummingbird. Hummingbird Spirit, be here now. Hummingbird spirit. The hummingbird's wings beat so swiftly it can hover in seeming stillness as it drinks deeply from a flower. Hummingbird spirit comes to remind you that the beauty and sweetness of life is in the eternal now, the timeless present. Here and now you are becoming the person you wish to be to have the experiences you wish to have. Focus your energy on the flower before you for what you desire is being provided. Yes, there are blossoms everywhere. The choices can be dazzling. Hummingbird's spirit message is that you have no need to go about in search of something better, for all that you require and desire is before you. You will know this as you become still, feeling your connection to spirit who loves you unconditionally and will always provide for you. I'm going to read the protection message because I feel like this is completely apt for this reading. There's a lot of turmoil and stress and um, confusion. You know, I mean, this for you this could be very minor confusion between what decision to make on something for another person this could be something really major has happened you've lost somebody due to covid or you've lost your job or you've had a marriage breakdown or a, a relationship breakdown something big something huge that's causing this confusion and this upset and grief and loss and and pain and preventing you from making any decisions so i feel like this card is is telling you you know be in the now don't worry too much like i said well it's backing up what i said about taking a breath being present in the moment and not worrying about rushing ahead this is waiting for you as hummingbird spirit actually says you've got everything in front of you everything you require and desire is before you but it's okay to be in the present for a bit to sort out this lot, this mess. So your protection message is nectar is everywhere, but hummingbird spirit is here to remind you that flying from flower to flower and being all over the place wastes precious energy. Be still. Be here now in the present moment, enjoying the sweetness and sustenance available to you. Focus on one flower today, just one. Nectar is there for you, and hummingbird spirit's message is that wherever you put your attention, there your energy flows. Are you focused on the sweetness or on finding something better somewhere else? Always yearning and feeling that life is not enough and you are not enough. All you seek is right here, right now. Appreciate the present and you will see that you are where you need to be and enjoying what you are entitled to enjoy in this timeless and perfect moment. Okie dokie. I'm going to leave it there. It's a hopeful message. It's not a neg It feels quite deep and negative um, with all this confusion and fire and conflict and tension and stress 
and definitely with this talk of you know possible losses and and that sort of stuff that are keeping you confused but I do want to end on the note that you know these these say that you've got everything that you need this is a blip and that sounds I hope I don't sound too trite there by saying it's a blip if you've lost somebody from Covid or your marriage has broken down calling it a blip is is it kind of feels like I'm trivialising it I'm not trivialising it at all um, when you're in the middle of that and believe me I know I've, <laughs> I've suffered both things on a couple of occasions and I know how it is it's not a blip but it's not enough to end your ability to be where you want to be with your success and your prosperity and your abundance it is just a pause a reroute if you like it might be but don't ever give up and like I said I'm just going to reiterate it if you feel you need to talk about something that is going on in your life that is big and you don't know where to turn and you're not sure what to do please do email me I respond to all emails and like I said, I am a therapist. It's not, you know, you're not just talking into the void. Um, and I will do what I can to help you. Okay? So on that note, I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and magic. Massive hugs. And I will see you tomorrow. Please do take care.